Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting through my 10 summer footwear staples. I filmed a similar video last year for autumn winter and had some really great feedback. So I thought I'd film a summer edition. So I'm just going to be chatting through my most worn shoes throughout summer and what I personally think are footwear staples. I have checked online and most of the shoes I'm featuring are still available. However, some of them I've had for quite some time. And so as I chat through each shoe, I will insert some images of some really great alternative options as well to suit different budgets. All of the footwear featured will be linked below in the description box and I will pop them in order in categories so it's easier for you to find each link. If you've got any questions about anything throughout the video, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But let's get going with the video. Okay, so my first summer footwear staple is a pair of tan sandals. And I just love the way that tan sandals look styled up in spring summer. They're so easy to wear, so effortless and look very, very effortlessly chic. Um, especially when styled with other tan accessories as well, like maybe like a tan leather belt or a tan bag. I actually like the way these look with my um, Celine basket bag with the tan detail on. I think they complement each other really well and just pull an outfit together. Um, this pair are just from Amazon Fashion. They were under 20 pounds. They're a really great basic pair. And in fact, they're a very good dupe for the Saint Laurent tribute sandals. I'll pop a picture of those in but they're a very similar style, but obviously these are a fraction of the price. I think that the tribute sandals are around 470 pounds, I believe. So these are a really great affordable option. They're also really comfortable. They've got a cushioned, like padded sole, and I've only had these for a few weeks, but I've worn them so much already, and I will be wearing them a lot throughout summer. The only thing I would say about that pair is that they're not leather. So if you prefer a leather sandal, I found a really great alternative from Mango. They are $35.99, they are 100% leather, and they're in a beautiful, like a beautiful dark tan leather, almost like a braided circular style. Um, so I thought they were a really great option. Another really popular style are these June sandals, and I see them a lot this time of year. They bring out the same style each year, or a very similar style, which are a great dupe for the Hermes Aran sandals. Now the Hermes Aran sandals I think are around 510 pounds, and these June sandals are 90 pounds. Although I have found last year's version, so very similar style, but last year's version, and they are currently on offer for 49 pounds. So I will leave those linked as an alternative. And then a couple of other options. First of all, this pair from Everlane. Again, they bring out the same kind of crossover style each year. And I've got a pair from the year before last, and they are so comfortable, beautiful soft leather, wear really well, I still wear them now. Um, and this year they've brought them out in like a much more, like a richer tan. I've got them in like a lighter beigey tan, and I love the slightly darker brown tan. Um, and then the final option that I spotted online that I thought were a really lovely, simple style is this pair from Flattered. They've just got the plain band across the front, um, and just a very timeless, simple style. Sticking with sandals and my next summer footwear staple are a pair of black sandals. And again, this is quite an obvious one, but these just work so well with all of your all of your black summer outfits. So black dresses, black trousers, if you're wearing, even if you're wearing like jeans, but you've got a black belt or a black bag, I like to then wear black sandals as well. This pair are from Everlane. I've had them for a couple of years, but they're still in really good condition. The leather is really soft. In fact, it gets softer the more I wear them. Um, and I love this kind of thong style as well. I feel like they just, very, they look very chic, very timeless. Um, and yeah, I just think they're a really nice style. So this pair, like I said, a couple of years ago, but and other stories have got a very, very similar pair at the moment, almost identical. And other stories footwear is always really great quality. Um, and in fact, they've actually got a very similar pair to this again, but with a chunky sole. So if you like the style of these, but you prefer a little bit more height, um, then they're also a great option. In fact, I've been seeing this style a lot, but with the wedge sole. So Mango have got a pair for $35.99. And Netta Porte have got a really lovely pair that look lovely quality and they are 135 pounds. I also really like this pair from Cos. Again, a very kind of simple chic style, but just with a wrap over detail, just something a little bit different. And then the first pair that I showed you from Mango, the tan leather ones, they also come in black as well. Again, 35.99. So I will also leave those linked in the black. 
Okay, next up are a pair of white leather trainers or sneakers. And for me, these are a footwear staple all year round, but I do love how they look styled up in summer with dresses, with just jeans and a t-shirt, with denim shorts, linen trousers. They work so well with lots of different summer outfits. Now I've got a couple of pairs to show you here. First of all, this pair from Everlane. And I just love how simple these are. They're just a very plain pair of white leather sneakers. They've got very subtle branding just on the back here. They say Everlane and then just on the tongue as well. They're a very flattering shape as well. And because they've got no detail or color on them, they work with pretty much every outfit. Very comfortable um, and yeah, just a lovely simple pair. And then the other pair I wear a lot are my Vajas. And if you follow my channel already, you've probably seen me style these up with so many different outfits. In fact, so much so that I've just ordered them in the same style, but with the beige detail here and here as well, because I just thought they'd work so well with all of my like neutral summer outfits. So as much as I love the style of these, I think for me, in summer, I would wear, the, I'm, I think I'm going to get a lot more wear out of the neutral ones and then these more so in autumn, winter. Um, but I will pop a picture in of the ones I've ordered. I will also leave them linked below. And I do have a discount code for Farfetch as well. I ordered mine from Farfetch and I've got a discount code for 10% off. This isn't an ad, um, but I do work with them. So I will pop the discount code on the screen and down in the description box below. If you're thinking of investing in a pair of Asia's, then you can get 10% off. And then a more affordable option for under 50 pounds, I spotted this pair from Mango. And I feel like they're kind of a cross between the Everlane ones and then the beige beiges. They're kind of a very similar style to the Everlane pair, but they've just got a beige detail at the back. Um, but again, they look like a really great pair. They are leather and a great affordable option. Next up are a pair of nude or beige heeled sandals. Now, if you've seen any of my recent occasion wear videos, you may have noticed that I style a lot of the dresses up with this one pair of heels. And the reason being is that this style of shoe work with so many different dresses, so many different colors, so many different outfits in summer, and especially when you're wearing occasion wear or maybe going out for an evening, this style works with so many different outfits. I got this pair from ASOS a couple of years ago now, and as much as I love the style of them, they're not the most comfortable. So I found some good alternatives to show you. First of all, this pair from Amazon Fashion. Now again, these are very high, so probably won't be the most comfortable, but I've got some other options as well. Um, but I just really love the style of these. I love the fact that they were nude painted and a little bit darker than this pair as well. And then I also like the fact that they had the strap detail that dipped lower down. So whereas these have got the strap around the ankle, the other pair have got a strap that kind of crosses a little bit lower on the foot, so it kind of elongates your leg. I find that sometimes a strap that goes around your ankle can cut off your leg a little bit, whereas the other pair will elongate them slightly. So I thought that they were really nice and a great price point from Amazon Fashion as well. For a more comfortable option, I spotted this pair from Farfetch. They are £139. And they are very similar to this pair, apart from they've got a block heel. So obviously having that block heel will make them that, them that little bit more comfortable. And they've also got a slightly thicker strap here as well. So again, that little bit more support and a little bit more comfortable. Farfetch have also got a pair of Stuart Weitzman heels, which are currently in the sale with 30% off. And again, they are a similar style to this, but they're in a slightly lighter, more of like a pinky nude. And they look like the heel is slightly lower as well. So hopefully, a little bit more comfortable. Mango have got a pair, again, for £35.99. I feel like a lot of their shoes are £35.99. Um, but they are, they, again, they've got a slightly lower heel. They're in like a lighter, more of like a stony nude. And they've also got that crossover detail at the front, so they dip down slightly. So a nice kind of elongating feature. And then the final pair that I wanted to show you are these ones from Office. And these are in more of like a beigey, almost tan colour. Um, again, slightly lower heel, so hopefully a little bit more comfortable. I haven't worn them yet, but I ordered these about a month ago to take away on holiday with me, but I didn't end up wearing them on holiday. I just stuck with flat sandals. Um, but I like the fact that they were that little bit lower. I like the fact that they were more of like a tanny, beigey nude as well. Um, and also they cross over at the front, so a nice flattering shape. So I think that these are also a really great option for occasion wear if you've got any weddings or if you're going to the races. I feel like this is a style that will work with a lot of different dresses. Next up are a pair of backless loafers. And I feel like these are the spring-summer version of a regular loafer. 
and again i love how these look with so many different summer outfits they look great with dresses with jeans with linen trousers with shorts but they also work really well as workwear as well because they've got that slightly more kind of smarter look to them um, so both of these are from flattered i got them in the tan and the blush i wasn't planning on keeping both colors but i felt like i needed them i just love how they look with so many outfits and i thought they both worked really well in my spring summer footwear wardrobe <laughs> um they are leather they were a really gorgeous style i just think the detail like they've just got this crossover leather detail at the front they're very comfortable but if you like the style of them but you're not a fan of a backless loafer they do also come in a backed version as well <laughs> like a full loafer version too i also really like the white contrast stitching on them and i feel like they're the style of shoe that's just going to wear really well they're just going to get more comfortable the more you wear them um, and despite being pointy at the front they don't feel like you don't feel like your foot's crammed in they still feel really comfortable on if you're looking to spend a little bit more obviously you've got the gucci prince town mules which are a really lovely pair of backless loafers i always think they look great whenever i see them styled up on instagram or pinterest i always think they look really cool and they come in lots of different colors as well um, but they are i think they're 580 pounds a couple of more affordable options first of all this pair from dorothy perkins they are leather, I think they've currently got 10% off, they're £36 and they're a similar-ish style to the Gucci ones with the gold buckle detail over the front um, and a great price at £36 and then another affordable option as well I spotted are these ones from Stradivarius, just a cream pair with the cream buckle detail as well. Um, again, they look great. I love how a pair of cream backless loafers look with a very kind of like cream outfit. I think I styled a pair in a recent reel with um, an all white or cream outfit and then a pink blazer over the top. And in fact, actually, that pair that I styled in the reel are also really lovely, but they are from Everlane a couple of years ago, so are no longer available. Um, but I will link the other options below. Okay, next up is a very practical option, but definitely a summer footwear staple, especially if you've got a holiday booked. And it is a pair of sliders. And granted, they're not the most attractive. In fact, these are actually loose. I've got the same pair, but in white. But when I went to film this, I couldn't find the white one. So I grabbed his instead. But they're just so practical, especially on holiday when you're in and out of the pool or on the beach and you don't want to ruin your nice leather sandals. These are just a great, easy option. And this pair are actually from Amazon Fashion. They were 13 pounds, so really great price. You're not going to worry about ruining them. And actually they're pretty indestructible as well. They're obviously waterproof, um, very lightweight as well. So easy to chuck in your suitcase and just a very practical footwear. Did I mention that they were practical? I'm not sure I said that enough times. <laughs> if you like the idea of a waterproof slider, but you're not a fan of like the chunky, slightly more sporty style of these, then you can also get waterproof Birkenstocks as well. I think they're around, around 30 pounds, so more affordable than regular Birkenstocks. And they are completely waterproof. They're like foam like these as well, very lightweight. Um, so they are a good option if you like that. If you like the style of Birkenstocks, but you kind of want something that you can get wet and wear in and out, of, you know, at the beach in water, then I will also leave those linked below as well. But if you are looking to spend a bit more, obviously you can get some great designer sliders as well. I was looking on Farfetch and they've got some lovely Gucci ones. They've got a pair from Off-White, Balenciaga, Givenchy. Um, so I will leave some of those options below as well with my Farfetch discount code if you wanted to use that. And then speaking of Birkenstocks, my next summer footwear staple is a pair of Birkenstocks or a pair of chunky sandals. And chunky sandals have been very on trend the past couple of years, and they're going to be very on trend again this summer as well. They look great styled, again, with just jeans and a blazer. They look great styled with denim shorts, but they also give a slightly more kind of edgy look to a summer dress as well. And obviously being chunky, they're usually a little bit more cushioned and super comfortable as well. So we'll start off with my Birkenstocks and these definitely aren't for everyone. I feel like Birkenstocks are a little bit of a love it or hate it thing. Although I do feel like once you've tried them and worn them for a while and you realize how comfortable they are, you will be converted. Uh, especially this pair actually, these suede ones. I don't know if it's because they're suede, so they feel slightly softer. These are so comfortable, as you can see by how much I've worn them. 
Um, I've also got this black leather pair as well, which aren't as comfortable, but I think I haven't worn them quite as much, so I haven't like worn them in and softened them as much. But if Birkenstocks really aren't for you, then I found some really gorgeous chunky sandal alternatives online. First of all, this pair from Flattered that look like a really lovely style. They look super comfortable and Flattered footwear is always really lovely quality as well. And then they also have this cream pair as well that look gorgeous. I also spotted this raffia pair from Le Redoute that look like a really lovely style. And, and other stories have also got some really great options for chunky sandals. And some of them have got the strap around the back as well. So if you prefer a sandal that kind of holds your foot in place, then they've got some really lovely ones at and other story. Okay, next up are a pair of wedges and I love wearing wedges in the summer. If I've got an occasion to go to or a wedding and I'm going to be on my feet all day, um, I love wearing wedges. And I tend to try and opt for like a maxi dress so that I've got a long dress that's gonna cover my feet, but I can wear wedges underneath and I've still got that height and that kind of dressy feel, but super comfortable. Um, so this pair are old, they're from ASOS, they're not actually the most attractive pair, they kind of cross over at the front and then tie up, um, but, but because they lace up, they really hold my foot in and feel that little bit more secure, and obviously once they're on and under a dress, you can't see them. So I think for me, that is when I tend to wear wedges, if I'm wearing a maxi dress and I want some really comfortable footwear underneath. I definitely love a pair of wedges. But I do also think that wedges can look really lovely styled with shorter dresses or midi dresses. Um, especially the castagna wedges, they always look really great. They're a little bit, little bit shorter than this and the ones with like the covered up toe. I tend to see those styled up a lot, again on Instagram and Pinterest, and I think they look really lovely and they look super comfortable as well. So I spotted a couple of pairs of Castagna wedges at Farfetch that I will pop up here. I spotted a really great alternative option to the Castagna wedges from Stradivarius for under £40. They look like a really lovely style. And in fact, Stradivarius have got some really great wedges online. They've got a really lovely tan pair that I think were £29.99. Um, they've got some really lovely styles for under £30 that look great. And then I also spotted this tan pair from Mango as well, which look like a really lovely style, so I will leave those linked as well. Okay, I've just got two more to go, and next up are a pair of low block heels. And these are great when you want to wear heels, you want to elevate an outfit, but you still want to be super comfortable these are just a great option and perfect for during the day if you're wearing like a little summer dress but you want a little bit of height or if you're going out for dinner and you want to wear like a comfortable heel or even as occasion wear as well these look gorgeous with summer dresses and occasion wear dresses as well i just think it's great to have a pair of lower block heels in your wardrobe and this pair are lovely they are from and other stories i got them last year but i did check online before filming this video and they are still available in limited sizes, but they also have a very similar pair that they've brought out this year. Super similar style, but with a cream block heel instead. Um, I'll pop a picture of those in and link those as an alternative. But these just look great with lots of different outfits. They look great to dress up a pair of jeans. They look lovely with linen trousers as well, like if you styled with like a linen trouser and a blazer. I also love the style of this pair from Free People. And in fact, I'm very tempted to order them just because they look like they'd be so comfortable where they've got the thick leather straps. Sometimes with these thin straps, after a while they can dig in a little bit. Whereas the thick straps on the Free People one look comfortable, but they also look really chic at the same time. And other stories have also got this style that come in beige and in a bright orange as well. And I actually love the orange. I feel like they'd look gorgeous, styled with like a bright coloured dress, almost clashing a little bit. I feel like they'd look really lovely styled like that. And then the final option I found online are this pair from Amazon Fashion. They, I feel like they're kind of a cross between a block heel and more of like an occasion wear, um, strappy heel like the first pair I showed you because they're that little bit higher the heel isn't quite as block but they are really comfortable and they've just got the two simple straps across them and I feel like they're kind of like that in between they'd work really well as occasion wear but also great to be worn as an evening or during the day to dress up a casual outfit and then for my final summer footwear staple I was kind of struggling a little bit because I had those nine that I knew were summer staples that I wear a lot that I had to feature but for the tenth one I was kind of like umming and ahhing as to what to feature and I decided to settle on a barely there flat sandal and for me this is kind of what I'm lacking in my wardrobe at the moment in my like footwear wardrobe collection at the moment 
Um, and I actually ordered a pair from Amazon Fashion before I went on holiday. I don't know if you saw my pack with me video, but I ordered a pair. And when I say barely there, I mean just a very simple leather flip flop that you can wear with like silky midi dresses or when you've got on like a more dressy holiday evening outfit, but you want a very simple flat sandal. That was kind of what I was lacking. So I ordered the pair from Amazon Fashion, but I got them in the light beige and they were just that little bit too pale. They didn't really work in the outfits I had. Um, they do also have them from Amazon in like a more tan, like a more like a tanny brown as well, which are, which look like a great option. I think they're about 15, between 12 and 15 pounds, depending on the color. Um, so I will leave those linked if you like the look of them. But I think I may order this pair from net a they come, I think they've got them in about five different colours. They've got like beige, black, grey, and maybe like a taupe colour. Um, but I just love the plain, like beigey, tan, very simple leather sandal. They are £40, which I think is a great price, especially from net a -Porte, when you tend to think things are going to be a slightly higher price point. They're £40, very simple style, and I think on holiday of an evening, that is the style of sandal I'm after. Just something very simple with minimal detail that will kind of just blend into my leg and I can wear with lots of different dresses without having too much going on on my feet, if that makes sense. So they are all 10 of my summer footwear staples. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. I would love to know if there's any summer footwear staples that you feel like I've missed out that you think are absolute wardrobe staples i mean obviously it goes without saying like a pair of comfortable um like gym trainers are like an all year round staple um but i'd love to know if you think there's anything i have missed out do leave a comment and let me know your feedback as i mentioned before all of the footwear i have featured or mentioned will be linked below in the description box in order any questions leave a comment and i will get back to you and if you did enjoy the video i would love it if you could subscribe for lots more content um, but thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!